Hello friends, welcome back to Pink's Kitchen. Today, let's see how to make quail gravy. These birds are filled with proteins and essential vitamins and minerals, making them a very nutritious type of poultry, hence proving it to be a very healthy dish. So why to wait? Let's get into the video and check out the ingredients. Today, I've taken six quills. I bought it ready to cook from the market. Clean wash it and keep aside. Heat the pan and add quarter cup of oil to it. When the oil is hot and ready, add a piece of cinnamon. Then goes in the tablespoon of chopped ginger, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, 10 pods of chopped garlic and a bunch of curry leaves. Then add 2 slit green chilli and 100 grams of shallots chopped. Add 1 teaspoon of salt at this point of time. Saute all together well until the shallot turn golden brown. The shallots are golden brown now, so let's add in the masala. First goes in 1 tablespoon of chilli powder, then 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of garam masala. Saute all together for 2 minutes until the raw flavour of the masalas goes off. Then add 1 tomato chopped into cubes. Saute until the tomato turns smashed. Add the quill at this point of time. Give it a quick mix. Add one and a half cups of water and allow it to come to a boil. Add 1 teaspoon of cumin powder and 1 tablespoon of crushed pepper powder. The gravy has come to a boil now, so let's check for seasoning at this point of time and add salt if required. Now 
Mix all together well and pressure cook for one whistle in high flame. Allow the pressure to settle on its own and then open the pressure cooker. The quail is cooked well now. Let's cook for another 5 minutes in high flame so that the gravy will thicken up. It's totally your preference on the gravy consistency. Your delicious quail gravy is now ready to serve. Serve it hot with a bowl of rice and enjoy it with your friends and family. Do subscribe to our Pink's Kitchen channel and click on the bell icon for latest updates. Happy cooking and thanks for watching this video.